For those that knew me prior to my diagnosis of ALS, I would never want others watching me getting ready, especially broadcasting all over social media, seeing my pale butt, or my now bony frail body. It's important to me now to help others, and gives me a purpose to continue living, so if I can help just one person here, makes what I'm doing all worth it, and this progression video is longer than I have previously done, this is just my morning routine, I'll have a night version soon, I also sped it up 4 times to shorten the video, unfortunately my caregiver doesn't move this fast in real life, with this said it takes me a minimum of 1 hour just to get out of bed, brush teeth, dressing, and wiping my face down, and on shower days takes me about an hour and a half. Prior to ALS I'd be up and running within 5 minutes. Another reason for creating videos like these is to help educate those unfamiliar with ALS, showing them how hard it is for tasks as simple as these, puts things in perspective, how difficult it truly is living with ALS. If more people do videos like this one we can learn so much from each other, we should all work together to find the best ways to live comfortably with ALS. This is why we are currently working with StoryFile, so everyone living with this disease can just ask a simple question, and a video will pop up with different options, such as the best way to properly use a Hoyer lift or best way possible to brushing your teeth. All this information will be helpful for all of us, including myself. So if you're watching this video, and know of an easier way to transfer from bed to wheelchair, or anything that we're doing here, just because we are currently doing it this way, definitely doesn't make it right as we are learning each day to make living with this lovely disease as easy as possible, so please comment below with opinions and or other suggestions if you notice what we are doing can be changed or simplified, we would appreciate your input. As I've mentioned in prior videos I feel the correct term used for ALS is always losing something each month week, day, and hour is constantly changing, once I were able to lift my hand, to scratch my head, and just a week later, I'm not able to even raise my arm to my face, and the list goes on and on, constantly adapting to everything changing, I think that the most important part living with ALS, is to try to be one step ahead of your progression, as we all know that with this disease eventually we will lose all mobility, as long as we do our best being prepared for the next phase, makes it that much easier to live a bit more comfortably, for instance you'll need to modify your bathroom, shower, and toilet, rather than waiting until it's a risk factor and inconvenience, you should start to adapting your home sooner than later, and if you need financial assistance to help transition your home, you can always apply for a grant from our organization, paying for a cure. This is why my partner Trevor and I formed this nonprofit as to help others live comfortably as the disease progressed farther. If you're still watching this video of me getting ready, and haven't called the authorities for exposing myself, I would like to take this time to let everyone know that I've decided to getting a trach, my number one reason is to be here for my kids, I feel that despite my illness and ability to raise my kids like a normal healthy dad can, I can still provide for them and I want to be a huge role model for my kids to inspire them and show them what I've done to continue being here to guide them throughout their childhood life. My honest opinion would be I'd be their hero, 
my dad is a badass that is there for us in the very best way he can. And secondly, I'd love to continue helping others battling this disease as it's unfortunately overlooked and underfunded. So many people claim that ALS is uncommon, yet every 90 minutes someone new is diagnosed, which in my opinion is far too many. Unfortunately it all boils down to the dollar. The big pharmaceutical companies don't want to waste their time finding a cure to help save the 30,000 of us living with this disease. There's no big payday, they'd rather focus on the masses that make the most money like COVID or cancers, which is unfortunate that the government doesn't regulate these big pharma companies. It boils down to money and not actually helping save lives. Don't get me started on how frustrating and disappointed I am with the FDA and government for not giving those of us living with a terminal disease any and all treatments or drugs currently available but waiting for approval and some stuck in the FDA for 12 years and has positive results such as Neuron, what can we lose? We are dying anyway. We should be able to try any treatment currently going through the FDA. So rather me continuing on and getting worked up about this, I'll end with a positive song, as I'm not giving up, which keeps me fighting each day. I love you all, and of course, peace you. out. I will fight for you. I always do until my heart is black and blue And I will stay I will stay with you We'll make it to the other side Like lovers do I'll reach my hands out in the dark my